hello everyone welcome to the video on backup exec 15 and uh, today i'm here to talk about the latest feature which has been added to the feature pack 5 of backup exec 15 the instant recovery which you can use to recover the virtual machine whether you're running a hyper-v or a vmware platform uh, but for the sake of this video i'll be concentrating on the hyper-v platform but the concept is same even in case you're running the vmware uh, as a prep work for this uh, demonstration uh, I've already enabled the role of Hyper-V on the server 2012. The name of the host, host machine is HV1. So as you can see that uh, uh, my server is 2012. So I'm running uh, Hyper-V Manager. That's my host machine. Uh, the VM that we'll be uh, using for instant recovery is test VM. As you can see that it is running. I've already configured the storage and uh, the name of the storage is uh, test drive which is uh, i have created in the uh, backup exec 15. now a couple of things uh, that you have to make sure before you do the instant recovery uh, is that uh, when you do the full backup you have to run the full backup which i've already run and saved it onto the test drive uh, that you have to enable the grt option which is granular recovery technology which allows you to or enables you to restore uh, granular files and folder and you 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 can only use the disk based storage you can use a deduplication storage device or a tape storage or a cloud based storage so make sure that it has to be a disk storage and as i mentioned that you have to have the full backup uh, the full backup is already completed i've already done that because i don't want you to go through that simple process of full backup which can take around about 10 to 15 minutes depending upon the size of the uh, virtual machine so i have already completed it and it's residing on the uh, test drive and another important uh, thing that you have to keep in mind is that instant recovery is only supported through the virtual based backup and not through the agent based backup so if you have been using or if you're familiar with the backup exec 15 you know that there are two ways you can back up a virtual machine one is the virtual based backup and another is the agent based backup so make sure that actually let me show you so let me just go to the backup and restore so this is the uh, test vm which we'll be using for uh, instant recovery uh, so when you're doing the full backup for the first time and you right click and you go to the backup and you go to the backup to disk make sure that you select the virtual based backup because agent based backup for the instant recovery is not supported so uh, very important so let me come out of this okay so uh, this part have already done so make sure that uh, you keep this in mind before applying the instant recovery option in your backup exec environment uh, now the another important question is uh, why and in what use case scenario you'll be using the uh, instant recovery a lot of people think that it's a disaster recovery mechanism which i won't agree uh, it is not a disaster recovery mechanism but it is a great tool in case you want to test and development uh, for the purpose of test and development uh, on your virtual machine so say for example you have a vm and you want to uh, install the patch on that one but you want to make sure that it goes in smoothly so you can do it on the recovered virtual machine it's a great tool for testing the patch uh, as you know that we always back up our stuff uh, with the instant recovery option you can verify the backup images that you have backed up and it's also a great tool to verify the application uh, in case you have any important application running on the vm via the instant recovery method you'll be able to test that one too and uh, once you recover the instant recovery you can permanently recover the virtual machine and uh, you can move it using the hyper-v live migration or the storage migration and it also helps or enable user to access and restore individual files and folder from the vm so it's a great tool and um, uh, depending upon uh, what you want to use it it can benefit you in all these ways which i have mentioned over here Okay, so enough of the theory. So let's uh, look at the instant recovery option, how it's gonna work. So as I've already mentioned that, I've already uh, backed up the test VM. As you can see that I have created the test, uh, test drive as my storage destination. Let me actually show you. So let me go to the backup sets. 
and as you can see that I've already did the full backup of test VM make sure that it is full uh, differential or incremental backup won't cut so has to be a full backup so since the full backup is done uh, let's go to the backup and restore button and uh, once you select the test VM and uh, uh, if you have been uh, using backup exec you can see on the top right corner uh, the instant recovery is the new feature which has been added and uh, if you click the down arrow you can see that there's an option of instantly recover a virtual machine so what I'll do is I will hit that after highlighting the test VM and you hit the instant recovery virtual machine and this opens up a window so you can give a job name you can go through the uh, information over here uh, but uh, what we'll do is that uh, we'll give a name of the job so let's give a job name test vm instant recovery and uh, i will use the backup set which i have created recently so that was a full backup so uh, let me leave it to the default the destination it is asking where you want the VM to uh, be registered so what I'll do is that uh, I'll hit the browse button and uh, I'll save it on my C drive I've uh, made a folder IR test VM that's the place I'm gonna uh, save the information you hit the OK button and uh, there is an option of if you want to power on the virtual machine after it is recovered so I won't check the box because I want to show you after the VM has been recovered uh, how it goes when you power that up so schedule if you hit the schedule button I want to run straight away so I don't want to give a schedule but if you want you can always create or run on a specific schedule too and if you want you can also uh, have the notification in the manager recipient recipients you can add the notifications to but I will leave it to the default right now and I will hit the OK button uh, as you can see that there is a small dialog box so it's OK so hit the OK button So as you can see that the uh, instant recovery uh, procedure has been started. So if I go to the uh, job monitor, you can see that the um, uh, job status has been initiated. It's in the green button. So it means that uh, the instant recovery uh, feature has started. And you'll be surprised to know that uh, instant recovery doesn't take a very long time. Uh, because it doesn't depend upon what is the size of the VM and it actually depends upon what kind of a network connection you have between the host machine uh, and the uh, virtual machine so let's see how long it takes so as you can see that the VM has been recovered so it's pretty fast actually uh, it just took I will say not even a minute so if you go under the job monitor as you can see that we got the successful notification so our test VM was recovered and if I go to my Hyper-V manager, you will see that uh, we got the test VM uh, that we have recovered. So what you can do is, uh, if I right click on this one, uh, if you want, you can move it uh, by using live migration or the storage migration. Uh, but we won't do that. So what we'll do is that uh, we'll start this virtual machine. So you can hit the start button and uh, Let me connect with this one. So we'll right click and you connect So as you can see that the in VM that we have uh, recovered it's putting up
Let me put the password. So as you can see that this is a fully workable virtual machine uh, which we have instantly recovered and you you saw that it took not even a, uh, less than a minute time to fully uh, recover this one. So let me just show you as you can see that it's got all the information which is there on the uh, actual virtual machine. So, so a great tool basically to instantly recover your virtual machine. Uh, now if you go to the backup exec uh, management console, under the backup and restore, uh, if you want to make sure that your virtual machine has recovered, you can see that uh, you will get the information VMs recovered also under the job monitor. Uh, you can see that the job was successful uh, right over here. So now in case I want to remove this uh, VM that we have recovered, uh, what you can do is that you can go to the instant recovery and you can remove a recovered VM. Uh, but but it's a great tool, you know, uh, to test your, in case you want to test the patch on this uh, machine and then you want to move it to the uh, production uh, server or if you want to test any application and uh, you want to make sure that uh, you have a minimum downtime you can test all these things on this machine and uh, uh, you can make sure that uh, your end users doesn't have to face a uh, downtime uh, so let's let me just also show you how you can uh, remove this virtual machine so what you can do is that you can again highlight a test vm in this and uh, under the instant recovery you can uh, hit the remove uh, recovery vm so we'll hit that button and now there are two options. You can use default to remove now. You can customize setting and remove. So what we'll do is that we'll use a default and remove now. So hit that one. And uh, it gives us the name of the instant recovery virtual machine. And we'll select that and we'll hit the OK button. And uh, you'll hit yes. And let me actually go to the Hyper-V manager and uh, uh, you'll see that once the operation has been completed, uh, yeah, this uh, test VM which uh, was instantly recovered will disappear from here. Actually you can see the same thing under the job monitor. So the removal process has been started. So as you can see that the virtual machine has been deleted. And if I go to the Hyper-V manager as you can see that the machine uh, has been removed from the Hyper-V manager so so it's a great tool I recommend that uh, you should uh, explore this one if you're already using backup exec in your environment it's a great way of testing patches and testing application and uh, I'm sure you will uh, find this very useful in your environment thanks for watching have a good day bye bye